Greetings friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host Mark Guido and we are spending the weekend with friends old and new at Lily Lake in the Uinta Mountains of Utah. So stay tuned. The western Uinta Mountains along the Mirror Lake Highway are a summer playground for Utahns from the Salt Lake metro area. Lily Lake is a diminutive lake on the north slope of the western Uintas, just south of the Wyoming state line. We chose to camp right at the lake, which is located two miles off the pavement of Utah Route 150 via Forest Road 120. Like most of the countless small lakes in the western Uintas, Lily Lake has been enlarged by a tiny rock and earth dam built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. RV campers should be aware that the unmaintained road to Lily Lake is steep, narrow, and very rough, and cannot be recommended for timid or inexperienced RV campers. High ground clearance is essential. The road is mostly used by ATVs, and one forest ranger with whom we spoke this week was incredulous that we got our trailers up to the lake. As a result, even though many day visitors recreated the lake on a Saturday afternoon, there were only a couple of others camped right at the lake during our visit. Those looking for an easier camping experience will find a plethora of boondocking sites accessible by any type of RV in the first quarter mile of the road to Lily Lake, right near a Forest Service dump station with potable water that's free to use with your recreation pass. You can then visit the lake via your towed or tow vehicle or by hiking to it via the three-mile Lily Lake Trail that departs from the Bear River Ranger Station. So like I said, we're out here at Lily Lake in the Uintas, and we're with the, our old friends, uh, Kay and Arnie. You folks know them from other episodes, but we made some new friends this trip. Uh, this is John and Jeanette uh, Elliott from Corpus Christi, Texas, and uh, they just hit the road full-time, what, about seven weeks ago? Seven weeks ago. And how's that working out for you? It's working out very well so far. What uh, What made you guys decide to go full-time? Probably the biggest thing is that it's the most affordable way to see the country. Now, have you done a lot of traveling uh, up until now? No, up until now, it was we just worked at our careers, and uh, we recently retired, and this was our, our goal was to hit the road and see the see what the country has to offer. Fantastic. Yeah, we just bumped into these folks down at the ranger station, ironically enough, and uh, invited them back for a beer, and uh, they ended up moving their camper over here to where we are at Lily Lake, and we've all been camping together all weekend. Um, now, is this your first RV? Yes, first RV. And how's that working out for you? Uh, so far, great. We, we, we did a lot of research prior to purchasing it, and we've been very satisfied. And what did you settle on? Uh, we bought the uh, the Micro Mini made by Winnebago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, you found that it's been uh, conducive to your needs, I'm assuming? Yes, yeah, we, we yes. did a few alterations, but it's been very well. And Jeanette, what's been your favorite part of all this so far? Well, actually, my favorite part is seeing the mountains because where we come from, it's there's plains. Mm -hmm. There's no mountains mm -hmm. anywhere, so driving through the mountains and seeing the mountains, seeing a snowy mountaintop in the distance, I just love that. Well, why don't we show these folks the mountains coming up in this episode?
So John's basically been fishing saltwater his entire life along the Texas coast. But oddly enough, he's never before been uh, freshwater fishing. So we're going to go out in the kayaks and see if we can catch some trout today. Lowy Lake is chock full of rainbow trout. If you pay close attention, you can actually see fish jumping after flies all around the lake. My fishing license was expired, so I had left all of my tackle at home. But inspired by John's lifelong love of saltwater fishing, even though we'd never fished in fresh water before, we drove into Evanston to pick up fishing licenses and some gear to try our hand at catching some Lily Lake rainbows. Look at all these dragonflies, all these blue dragonflies. Really pretty cool hanging out on the lily pads. We'll head out to deeper water. A little too shallow in here amongst these lily pads. See if we can get a couple more bites out here where they're still jumping, although the jumping has slowed down a bit. I think it might get a little better once we get a little closer to evening. No, I take that back. They're still jumping. Oh, yeah, they're still jumping. Ah. We're supposed to see that cast. Fish on. Oh, under the boat. John and I each managed to land three small trout, ensuring that everyone's able to enjoy fresh fish at our Saturday evening camp dinner.
While we're not staying in a campground, the Forest Service has placed a couple of fire rings with grills near the shoreline of Lily Lake, and there's a pit toilet located nearby. There are also a number of rentable yurts in the area, operated by the Bear River Outdoor Recreation Alliance. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed coming along to Lily Lake in the Uinta Mountains with us and our new friends and old friends. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. That's very important. Now, we put out new outdoor adventure travel videos each and every Wednesday. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, now's the time. Hit that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. We would be honored if you share grand adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. And as always, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below each video. Now, if you'd like to be able to help out the channel, keep us bringing you more and better videos each and every week. We'd love for you to shop with us on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't cost you any more to shop Amazon that way, but uh, Grand Adventure receives a small commission on each one of your purchases, so it helps to support the channel. We'll put a link to the Grand Adventure shop on Amazon down below in the description of this video. And until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.